Hey everybody, welcome back to Alan Hall's Photography. I am Alan. Today, a short story and an apology to Nikon. I love Nikon cameras. My first camera was a Nikon. My last camera was a Nikon, the D850. I got my D850 about um, a month after they came out. It had been uh, pre-ordered for several months before that. I already knew I wanted the camera. I already knew I was going to love it, and I did. I shot with it every day. I have no idea what the shutter count is. I'm not going to look. I don't want to know. About a month after I got it, it died. Completely died. I couldn't revive it. I couldn't do anything. I took the batteries out, put them back in, uh, did incantations over it, changed out the cards, everything. Wouldn't come back to life. So I packaged it up and sent it to New Jersey, to Nikon's Eastern Repair Facility. They had it for close to five weeks, and then they sent it back to me. I was $100 out of pocket. Uh, that's what it cost me to, to ship it with insurance to New Jersey. And when I got it back, it came with uh, an official looking piece of paper uh, from Nikon that had nothing on it except my name and that it was a D850 and it was coming back to me. It said there was a note on it saying that they'd cleaned it for me. Um, there was no mention of what was wrong with it. There was no mention of what they fixed. I learned later that they didn't fix anything. They couldn't find anything wrong with it. But I wasn't aware of that at the time. So uh, I was a little anxious, but I started using the camera again and uh, used it and used it and used it. And then six weeks after I got it back, it died again. Another complete mystery, completely dead camera. Uh, changed lenses, batteries, cards, the works, nothing would bring it back, not even a hard reset. So I packaged it back up angrily, uh, insured it again, and at the cost of another hundred dollars, sent it back to Nikon in New Jersey, who kept it this time for only three weeks and sent it back to me with a little note saying they'd cleaned it for me. Um, the camera worked fine, but apparently they hadn't done anything to it. And that's what this apology is about, because I completely lost faith in the Nikon Repair Center in New Jersey. And I thought that they were either incompetent, they were unable to read my letter, uh, explaining what was going on, but they weren't communicating with me what was wrong, and I let them have it. I let them have it in a blog post and in a video. Eventually, I got over my anxiety about using the camera when I had to rely on it and gradually got comfortable with it again and started to trust it. And for the last year and a half, I have shot with virtually nothing else. And then about a month ago, when I was shooting my eldest daughter's wedding, the aperture control lever stopped functioning. Every time I took a picture, I'd get an error message and have a completely overexposed photograph. Uh, the only thing that I could do that appeared to fix the problem was shoot wide open at 2.8. I was using uh, a 2470 f2.8 Nikon. And if I shot wide open, I didn't get the error message. But if I took any photographs with the aperture, anything but wide open, I'd get an error message and an overexposed picture. The only thing that occurred to me that could cause that would be an aperture arm that was, was broken or bent or for some reason not functioning. About three weeks ago, I packed it up and sent it back to Nikon with very low expectations. 
After a couple of weeks, Nikon called me and said they estimated the repairs on my camera would cost about $300. Uh, and did I want to proceed? The only other option to getting the camera fixed was to sell it for parts, um, which may net a few hundred dollars. But this is a $3,000 camera that I love. So obviously I got it fixed. After three weeks, Nikon said the repair was finished. They'd be sending the camera back. I could expect it the following week. UPS emailed me a few days later to say I could expect it on Wednesday. As it happens on Wednesday, I was talking to you guys about macro photography sitting in this room when this happened. That's why we're using them. Thanks for the comment, Patrick. It was right on point, uh, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be going with the cheap stuff for now. I just heard, I just heard a van door slam. There's somebody on the step. I am so excited, I can hardly stand it. I have been waiting for this since seven o'clock this morning. This is my camera, has come home from the hospital. I'm sorry to interrupt regular programming, but it's hard for me to concentrate on doing this video while my baby is sitting inside this box, suffocating. So I hate unpacking videos. I've watched a few of them and I don't, I don't get it, but, but I'm about, about to do one. I want to see if my camera works. So this has been gone in New Jersey for, uh, three weeks, which isn't bad. I've, I've had much worse experiences. Oh, I love these things too. You have to put some seasoning on them though. They're pretty bland by themselves. It always worries me. I, I send the camera off wrapped in about two industrial sized rolls of bubble wrap and I get it back in a plastic bag inside a few peanuts, but all right. Now, the first thing you need to do is check and see if they've sent you something as a surprise. I'm, I'm kidding. They, they never send you anything as a surprise. The bill can be a surprise. I had a, a couple of really bad experiences with uh, the Nikon service center in New Jersey. With this camera and that camera, um, they've both been back once. This has been back twice, though it was more than a year ago. So if you, if you didn't see the video where I told you what was going on with this, it was um, the aperture control arm was, uh, was broken meaning that uh, when I was shooting at uh, higher, at, at smaller apertures, uh, the control arm wasn't able to close the lens down. So I was getting these horribly overexposed images. Boy, I, they really didn't want anybody getting into this. So I'm assuming or maybe hoping that they have completely replaced the arm. But my experience has been they don't usually tell you. They want me to go to Nikon school. Invoice repair. Holy mackerel. Well, I spoke too soon. This is what they did. Replaced aperture control mechanism replaced reflex mirror, replaced bayonet mount, 
Replaced card holder rubber. Replaced card cover. Adjusted aperture levels. Adjusted shutter speeds. Adjusted autofocus operation. Adjusted body flange back. General check and clean. Firmware upgrade. Wow. Uh, that's, that's really impressive. Um, I was all, I was all ready to, to have a hissy fit about being charged $300 for, uh, for loosening a sticky uh, aperture arm. It looks like they basically replaced it, all the moving parts in my camera. Um, I'm seriously impressed by that. I think they put it through a car wash. It's never been this clean. Holy mackerel. I swear that this uh, this looks uh, this looks like it did when um, I took it out of the box. Okay. Wow. This is what all they did before they did the repairs. They cleaned the exterior, cleaned the image sensor, cleaned the eye sensor. I don't have one. Oh, if applicable. Viewfinder cleanliness is within factory specification. Inspected built-in flash doesn't have one. So that must have been an easy uh, part of the inspection. Inspected interface communications, USB card slots, etc. Inspected switch and LCD monitor function. Inspected exposure accuracy. Confirmed focus accuracy is within factory spec. Inspected general shooting function, mirror, aperture, shutter, LCD monitor, etc. Latest firmware version confirmed. Yeah, I didn't think they updated it because I've, I'd already done that. Well, I'm blown away by, by how, how thorough the, a job they did. Well, I'm really very, very impressed. Uh, they apparently gave this camera a thorough going over. To celebrate, I'm gonna redo a large part of this video um, because uh, now I have a camera that I can do it with. So um, yeah, let's get going. Let's, let's do some, some macro work. It was only after all this happened that I realized that I was poised to let Nikon have it when I got the camera back. To complain about the price or the time it took or the fact that it broke in the first place, I was, I was poised and ready to slam the company without knowing anything about what had happened or what had been done. That's why I looked a little taken aback when I opened the box. So later I was thinking, why was I so ready to, to rip into this company? Um, why was I so ready to do it without even knowing what had gone on with the camera in New Jersey? And it reminded me of a, a quote from William James, forgive me if that's not his right first name, uh, but he said many, many years ago that uh, contempt prior to investigation is the definition of ignorance or words to that effect. And that's exactly where I was with this. I was ready to fly off the handle without any knowledge of what had happened or what was going on. Nikon rebuilt my camera. They rebuilt the moving parts of my camera and they did it in a short period of time and they did it for the ridiculously low price of $300. They also did a, a bunch of other work on the camera that uh, I had not asked for. Um, 
and certainly didn't feel entitled to. So why do I feel like I need to apologize to Nikon? Well, there's one other piece of information that I didn't find out until a few months ago and conveniently forgot while I was waiting for the camera to be returned this week. And that was, uh, I was talking about my camera's sudden death to a friend of mine who's uh, a photographer and a, a bit of a battery expert. And he asked to see the batteries that I was using with the camera at the time. And I had two original Nikon ENEL 15As, which are the recommended battery for the camera. But for my battery grip, which takes an ENEL 18, which is a very expensive battery from Nikon, I had instead bought an off-brand. And I won't tell you the name of it. I couldn't pronounce the name of it anyway. But this battery, I turned over to him too, and he came back to me a couple of days later and said that 99% certain the reason my Nikon had died was because of this battery. Honestly, I can't remember all the details. It was something to do with power surges or, or spikes of some kind. Uh, but yeah, so that rather change changes my position in this whole thing. I've been carrying this, this grudge, this resentment against Nikon for not fixing a problem that they couldn't possibly fix because I didn't send the battery grip with the camera. I did not connect the dots and realize that that could be it. Nothing I say or do is going to have any impact on Nikon's business not on their sales, not on their service. I am not even a blip on the radar for Nikon. But that's not the point. The three most important people in my life, my mother, uh, my father, and my wife, none of whom are still with us, had set remarkable examples about giving people the benefit of the doubt. And that's exactly what I didn't do. I didn't give Nikon the benefit of the doubt. I prejudged them. And then I think about what if somebody who knows nothing about me and my company and the work that I do has a similar attitude to the one I had with Nikon and is uncharitable to say the least about my efforts. That would really hurt. And so to Nikon, I apologize for anything negative I've said in the past. And I apologize for not giving you the benefit of the doubt when it came to this camera repair. And to the folks at the Nikon Repair Center in New Jersey, thanks for doing a bang up job on my camera and getting it back to me better than it was when I sent it to you. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Goodbye.